hey guys and welcome to today's video so in today's video we're going to be looking at how to catch intraday rise reversals so this video is going to be a very quick one i'm going to be showing us how to catch intraday rise reversals so i'm going to be going over this video very very quick and i just want you to pay attention to the few areas and points i'm going to be pointing out to in the chat because i don't plan to keep this video very long and also being the first video in this year 2023 i'm uploading right here it's something i just want to start um, doing just to keep the video very very um lively very very short something you can easily relate with and go into your chat and see you on the way again and i believe it will also help and benefits you in your trading going forward in the forex market so if you find value in today's video hit the like button hit the subscribe button and see you in more videos so without further ado let's um get right into what we have for today so as you can see right here on the chat let me clear this out right here this uh tuesday trading uh, on the pounds usd this is 15 minutes and from this area to this area is the whole price action world of this i will bring it through a separator you can see the line right there from this line to this line here is the um tuesday's day trading you want to say of um the pounds usd is a 15 minutes time frame and you can see the whole price delivery all the way from these highs here down here this is about a thousand and eight hundred and ten pips and when price reversed up to this point right here it is a thousand and five hundred and sixty pips that's a whole lot of pips for someone to catch in a very single day so just imagine if you are caught in the tops here down to this area you would have caught a thousand and eight hundred pips and if you had caught from this low to the up here you would have actually caught a hundred and five hundred pips and actually me i only caught one side of this move i caught i caught um the bullish run all the way from um this area right here to the buy side i cut um i entered the trade here and i exited around this area right here so i caught the bullish run right there so i'm going to explain to you why i actually entered the reversal and why i actually cut this intraday price reversal and and i can assure you that if you go into your price um wherever what time frame you're using or whatever currency pay you're trading you can actually see the same things for yourself when you understand these rules and um system of approach in terms of how i was able to cost this intraday price reversal so without further ado the first thing i was looking out for in this before i was able to cut um, cash this reversal was i was paying attention to my context and when i talk about context i'm actually referring to um where are we in price so if i go to the daily time frame this is where i start the daily um, analysis from um you can see this swing guy right here and you can see swing blue right here you can see outlined i have a red line and a horizontal line across there and there so this gives me a contest to trade with it before this particular day which is the tuesday trading candle prints out on the daily chart so i'm observing this high right down to that particular low right there or from this high to this particular low right here so but majorly i'm actually focusing on this high to this particular low because i'm on the daily time frame and price has given us a structural shift right here price gave us a structural shift right here so that's i'm actually focusing on this low not this particular low right here so um you outline the context that's from this high to this particular low so this gives us our context so we now have um a premium to a discount level in price so we can go to the hourly chart and wait to see what price will give us so um on the delivery of price we have our high and we have our low in terms of context so if i use the fibonacci to um, grade this particular context from the top to the bottom right here i'm going to have my equilibrium right here the 50 percent here right there so if i take this out here now becomes this area right here becomes my um premium right here and this um down area here become my discount so let me um, make that somewhat like um a green color right there so here becomes my discount in price here becomes my discount in price so all i'm looking for is price to give me somewhat like a price action um a, a price action in terms of my refer to target mentality to be able to 
um, key off from the premium to the discount or from the discounts to the premium and while I was waiting for price I saw this impulsive price move I was waiting for price in this kill zone this is actually the London kill zone you can see the candle pop downwards right here after price rallied into this particular order block on the premium price level and price rallied aggressively so I missed this whole move down to the downside and I was just patient I wanted to see how price was gonna react from the discount level right here so while price rallied aggressively during the London session I was sitting on my hands I wasn't doing anything I wasn't chasing price I wasn't um, angry that I missed the move you yeah, understand I was just waiting to see what price is gonna do at the discount level so that's one thing you want to do you want to be very very patient especially when you already have a context outlined and that's what the benefit of the context helps you to do being able to identify your premium to discount level so this was my premium and this is my discount I've seen price move from um, a premium level down to the discount right here so the next thing that actually drew my attention uh, why I was actually expecting a reversal and not a continuation pattern like in terms of a retracement there expect more bearish move was that I understand the average daily range of this particular pair and that's why i'd actually advise you actually focus on one particular pair you understand to be able to master what that pair does you got to understand i know that the pounds usd uh, moves an average daily um, um, range of 500 sometimes 1000 um on a weekly daily range it moves from 1000 to at least 2000 so i was like wow this whole move to the downside is very very aggressive so i want to calculate how many moves this so i took out my crosshair and i calculated from the high to the low and i saw 1842 pips that was almost 200 pips or uh, 2000 pips already which will be 200 pips in some um calculators so um i was like wow that's so much to move in one particular day and now this is only happening within the london session so what was i doing for what was i um expecting i said okay what i'm going to do is i'm going to time a reversal at this area especially same price has come into this particular um discount zone so price has become cheap at this area seeing that the average daily range has actually uh giving us more than expected for a particular day on the pounds usd so at this particular area i was actually anticipating a reversal but i was actually waiting for price to actually tap this particular um line right here this particular line why because that would be a run of or a run on liquidity for me um you can see the low right here that would be a, lot, a run on liquidity for me so but that didn't actually happen so all i did was that um i waited on the um, lower time frame the 15 minutes right here i waited on 15 minutes right here and immediately i saw this swing pattern right here let me um, take this out right so you can see that clearly let me zoom out so immediately i saw this um swing pattern one two three right here this um, gave me an idea of an institutional sponsorship of being bullish so i entered here a buy on this at the, at the close of this particular candle right here you get but this is not what i'm going to advise for beginner aspiring trader because price can actually reverse against you here especially if you put your tight stops below this low so where will i recommend for um beginning or aspiring traders to actually enter this reversal i actually recommend you enter this particular area because if you look at that is actually the um, um new york kill zone this is the new york kill zone outlined right here so this um seven o'clock new york time so there will be a particular great entry and why is that good why is this going to be a great entry for you because when price rallied up here it came down so this became a failure swing pricing go below this low so i wasn't knocked out but price rallied high breaking this high right here so there was a break of structure right here so there was a break of structure right there on on the pounds and immediately price retraced coming back into what an order block right here on the 15 minutes right here so even i saw price tapped into this area of 15 minutes i knew that my order right here was actually protected because i actually put my placed my order uh with a 500 pips stop loss below this low around somewhere around this area 
that's below the old um, extreme low at the other end that created my discount level so that's i held this position up to this particular area and i got out i wasn't up to this point but i entered from this particular area to this particular um, region right here so this is how i caught the intraday price reversal all the way from the end of the closing hours of the london session all the way into the new york session so this is how you two can actually apply these few rules or these few ideas to be able to arrive at whether you're going to be able to um, catch a high probable um, reversals within um, a particular um, day you get it now so the first thing you want to look out for is that you want to frame your context properly which is you want to frame your um, premium to discount level you want to understand the range you are trading within the next thing you want to look out for is that you want to see um, is price as price expanded very aggressively in a particular session in this case the london session and if it has expanded if it is expanded up to like um, 1000 1500 or 2000 and above then it's likely that a reversal is going to happen and seeing that the whole reversal and uh, the whole expansion downward rather is actually um imbalances to the downside price will actually want to come back to fuel this inefficiency in price right here and that's what you see happen later on in the marketplace because this area cannot be inefficient but not just that this area cannot be inefficient because price can actually decide to leave this area but because of um the average daily range for this particular pay on a single day is 500 but it actually moved past 500 to up to 1800 almost 2000 which is actually a weekly range for this particular pay and so understanding the pay is very very crucial into being able to catch this um, high probable uh intraday reversals you get it now so uh, um you want to pay attention especially if you're trading the pounds you want to pay attention if price expands aggressively like this you want to anticipate a reversal at the discount level if price expands to the buy side then you want to anticipate a reversal at the premium level so i anticipated the reversal at the discount level and i bought all the way to this particular area right here which is actually the um equilibrium level right here and i actually um sold again down here but i won't talk about that only in this particular video um because i don't think it's going to be relevant as regards the topic we're talking about intraday price reversals so um the first thing you want to pay attention you want to pay attention to the context i'm going that over the uh, process again the second thing you want to pay attention to a price expanded beyond the usual um that's beyond the usual average daily range like in the terms of the pounds 500 per day but now you expanded almost 2000 so you know what i bid um take that into account the third thing you want to take into account is um is price as price moved from a premium level to a discount level from a discount level to a premium level in this case price has moved from a premium level to a discount level so you want to watch out for reaction in price so you want to go down to lower time frame and watch for reaction in price and when i talk about reaction in price is that you want to pay attention to um um a swing pattern like this one two three or you want to wait for a break of structure a reversal into an order block or a fair value gap there's actually a fair value gap right here is a fair value gap your reversal into a fair value gap and you can buy all the way up so that's very very simple so i believe you really understand this whole process and these rules if you don't understand anything or you want me to go over this video or and explain something else again you can leave your thoughts in the comment section and i'll be sure to get right back to you so with that and without further ado see you in another video